Hey, what's up, guys? This is Marcin Technology, and in this video, I'm gonna show you what's USB OTG. So, I'm gonna explain you what's USB OTG. So, I have two phones here. So, first is the Samsung Galaxy S3, and the second is the 32 gigabyte model LG Google Nexus 5. So, let's talk about what's USB OTG. So when USB OTG is used when you need to save anything or you need an external memory. So on the Galaxy S3 you get external SD card slot. So you, can, you don't need the USB OTG. But on the Nexus 5 you get only 2 GB model. Like first is the 16 GB model and the second is the 32 GB model. So I have, I have the 32 gigabyte model Nexus 5 and I need an external memory so I'm using the Google Nexus 5 with USB OTG so let me show how to use it so let's keep the S3 side and this is the USB OTG I purchased it from Amazon and its purchase link is on the description so if you wanna buy it get it from Amazon so let me remove this remote and this is how it looks like you don't get any pen drive or anything with it you need to buy or plug your own one so I am having the HP 16 gb carbide model pen drive so let me focus it So here yeah, you can focus it, you can see that. So now let's, sorry for that, plug in both these things. So you need to plug in it like this and it's plugged in. So I'm a root user so I use Tech Mount app for getting this access on that Google Nexus 5. And this Tech Mount download link is also in the description so take a look on that. So first let's take the Google Nexus 5 and plug it on your charging plug. So it's plugged and when I opened it, here is the stick mount notification. I have this one so okay. And you can see it here searching. And it granted super user assist and you get it done. So there is the notification app, check mount. So now I'm going to show you what I keep on that. So I usually keep ROMs, rooted apps and backups on it. So you will get it on your SD card one and USB storage. It's not added on the SD card but it's a different thing. So this is my folders and apps I keep in it. G apps, CMLN, download backups to backups and TWRP recovery these are all the things I carry on that USB OTG and it's very useful so you can use many things on USB OTG so let's a a bit and if you want not to touch your phone you can get the mouse plugged so one second So this is my mouse one, mouse plugin. I have two wireless mouse and keyboard. So let's plug it in. Yes, it's plugged in. And let me show you my keyboard and my mouse. This is my wireless mouse and keyboard. It's X Pro. This is the name of that. Yes. So it's plugged in now. Let's plug in it on your device. Plugged in. Now let's see that stick mount modification. Yes. Select keyboard lay lot because it's mouse and keyboard both things, so you get this one. And now let's keep it keep it aside 
Uh, one second. Let me zoom that one. You can see the Google Nexus 5. And now I will show you the mouse. So you can see that mouse, it's too small, but it's nice. It's very easy to use. So this is my mouse and yes it's there. Uh, so let me zoom it more. And you can see the mouse. Yes. It's very nice and I use it when I want it. It's good. And now let's use the keyboard. So let's zoom out. Let me keep my keyboard and let's type on a thing. Zoom in on your phone. Yeah. Oh, you can see that it got typed from the keyboard, and it's very really good. Like, I search. Morrison technology and there is my videos and now let's use the mouse so see this go to Morrison technology from Chrome beta YouTube and it's opening, it will take a time. Yeah. You can see that Morrison technology. And there is the subscribe button. So please subscribe. So now let's clear this off. And now let's unplug this. So you saw that it was so good and it was very nice to use that. So this is my Google Nexus 5 Black 32GB model which I was using it from USB OTG. And that's it. So thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe. And if you have any query, let me know. And if you like this video, please hit the like button down. Please subscribe. Peace.